Yeah, it's the latest project, loop antenna, 7 megahertz, <clears throat> and uh, it works. There's some signal. I'm using my phone backwards so I can see what it can see. There's some... Okay, he's in uh, Great Britain, of course, not far from me, probably. And um, this is 7 megahertz, resonant loop antenna. Let's turn that down again. <clears throat> so it's a loop which is tuned using this wooden stick at the top here that slides in and out. <clears throat> Looks like a broom handle, but it's not. And uh, this has aluminium foil over part of the length so that <clears throat> when it's over this part, the capacitance increases. And then as the, the metallized part of the stick moves down here, then we have less capacitance because there's a gap in the center right there. <clears throat> So it's a loop with a gap in it and then a sliding metal um, part to adjust the capacitance to tune the loop. And yesterday <clears throat> I managed to get the loop to resonate between about 5.5 megahertz up to 30 megahertz. <coughs> but the tuning was extremely sensitive at the higher frequencies and the stick was rattling around inside the tubes. So what I did today is put extra foil around the wooden stick to make it a tighter fit but this has changed the minimum capacitance and now <clears throat> the loop will only tune up as high as, what is it, I wrote it down, uh, 8.5 megahertz, which is uh, making the, the range much smaller. So it's only 5.5 to 8.5 megahertz, <clears throat> which is not really what I wanted. But I wanted to cover 7 megahertz amateur band and it's, that's in the middle of the tuning range, so that works. Each of these sides of the loop is um, one meter long. And what I did is took 32 millimeter drain pipe, <clears throat> which is white plastic. Uh, you can't, oh, there's some of it. <clears throat> this stuff from the uh, building supply shop. And then I coated it in uh, aluminium foil, which is here. This is 10 centimeter wide aluminium foil, which you have to wrap around the lengths of the tubes. Um, unfortunately, the tubes were two millimetres bigger diameter than they, they were supposed to be, which meant that the, uh, the foil wasn't wide enough by about half a centimetre. So I just put two strips <clears throat> on each one to cover the gap. And it seems to work very nicely. I'm surprised at how well this works. Um, just transmitting with uh, 50 watts, I can get into Germany, Spain, Sweden. Um, strong signals when the band's open. At the moment, the band's closed. Propagation is no good at all, which is why I'm making this video instead of using the antenna. Um, tunes with that VSWR of 1.5 to 1, and if you use the ATU in, in the transmitter, then you can take that down, of course, to 1 to 1 perfectly. <clears throat> this is the matching loop, which is uh, it's called a tap match, which is connected here to the loop itself. So it's not an isolated loop at all, it goes around like this. I haven't even adjusted the size, I just put it there. I think it's 42 centimeters each side. I just cut that to see how it works and it works so well. I haven't changed it yet but I will experiment see if I can improve the match. I'm using this phone backwards with a selfie cam so it's not easy. And if you look down here this is a SO239 connector <clears throat> with a center pin soldered onto that coupling loop and the ground is connected to ground here just using a Jubilee clip. I use a lot of Jubilee clips making this project. <clears throat> so that holds it firm and makes the ground connection onto the loop. Um, <coughs> the corners of the loop are made using plastic 90 degree pipe sections but of course we need to have uh, conductance, electrical conductance between the different parts of the loop. So what I had to do is line the inside of these by cutting them in half slicing them all with a hacksaw <laughs> and then putting aluminium foil inside so that when they're cl clamped back together again then contact is made for a continuous loop. I just drilled holes and put screws in to hold it all together. Unfortunately I forgot that in the top right hand corner that is not going to work because if you originally I had screws in here <clears throat> and then of course you couldn't slide in the wooden stick to make the capacitor. I hadn't thought of that so I took the screws out again and put a Jubilee clip around here tight to hold the two halves of the plastic T piece in this case together to make electrical conductivity so this doesn't slide fall out 
and I can still slide the stick up and down inside. And that metallized stick for tuning inside the top part of the loop, the end of it is connected to a piece of wire which comes out of here. I don't know if you can see that piece of wire. That's just screwed onto the end of the wooden stick to make contact with the aluminium foil. And then that is connected. It's a bit droopy, I could cut this a bit shorter, but it needs to be flexible and movable for tuning. And this is then connected to here, which is somewhere near the, the end of this section of the loop. And then here is the gap between the two parts of the loop. So the capacitance, a variable capacitance has to be applied between here and here. And instead of using an expensive variable capacitor, I use the idea with the stick, which came from <coughs> a American radio amateur. I'll put a link to his video in the description. I can't remember who he is now, so I can't say it, but I'll put a link to it because I, I used his design and it really works very well. I'm very grateful to him. So uh, using the, the sliding stick, <coughs> it can withstand high voltages. So if you've got 5,000 volts, which is potentially possible with this high Q loop when it's resonating, uh, five kilovolts will easily flash over a small variable capacitor, but it won't go through this PVC tube to the wooden stick with the foil on it. So it's a really clever design. Looks like a bit of a lash up. Well, it is a lash up, but uh, it works. And I'm, I'm very impressed with the results so far. I haven't even tried to optimize it yet. <clears throat> so the next thing to do is to optimize this um, tap match loop here to couple the signal in and uh, see what happens. So that's the loop. There'll be more probably videos coming out when I've improved it a bit more and uh, give it a try yourself. It really works and I'm indoors <clears throat> so I can't uh, put up outdoor antennas and this really rejects a lot of the interference coming for the uh, equipment in the building which is really quite bad at times and uh, still I'm able to hear signals all over the place around the world. So I'm very happy. So that's it. <clears throat> Don't forget to like and subscribe.